Hello everyone. Today I'll give you a quick demo of MotionX iPad vibration analysis and rotor balancing kit and do some balancing work. On the table there is a small rotor with evenly distributed holes on its disc so I can add some screws to intentionally create imbalance and I'll balance it later. The tool we'll be used is MotionX iPad vibration analysis and rotor balancing kit. It comes with a two-channel deck box mounted on the back of uh, an iPad protective case. Channel 1 is connected to a piezoelectric accelerometer uh, on the rotor. It is used to measure vibration amplitude. Channel 2 is connected to a laser tachometer uh, mounted on a magnetic tripod. Uh, it targets at the rim of the rotor which has a reflective tape at zero degree. The laser tachometer provides uh, uh, angular reference in balancing. The app we will use is called iRotor Balancer. Uh, it gives us options to do single plane and two planes balancing. In this setup, uh, I will do single plane two channel balancing. There are a few rounds needed in single plane two channel balancing. In the first round, we will take original vibration. Let me turn on the rotor and press get button in the app to capture vibration amplitude and phase. It is giving me the number 0 0.65 at 100 degrees. Make sure you tap the get button multiple times and get consistent readings. Next, I'll add a trial weight to the rotor and take vibration with trial weight. For trial weight and uh, correction weight, I have a few screws, nards, and washers. I use this small digital scale to get the weight. In this app, there is a, there is a trial weight estimator that allows user to enter uh, rotor weight, trial weight radius, balancing speed to get the uh, recommended trial weight. In this case, it's 0.3 gram. I do have a set screw at 0.34 gram. I'll use that. At 270 degrees. Let me turn back, uh, turn back on the rotor and get vibration with trial weight. Again, I'll tap multiple times and make sure the readings are consistent. 0 0.55 at 97 degrees. Let me calculate correction weight. It's 2.25 at 255 degrees. Before adding correction weight, I need to take off the trial weight. I'll use a 2.2 gram screw at 255 degree. And let's see the vibration after correction. Based on the sound of the rotor, we should have balanced it pretty well. Let's see the value. 
it's 0 0.13 at 125 degrees. We can get trim weight to further refine the result. It's so 0 0.17 at 280 degrees. Now the result is 0 .0, 0 0.07, which is uh, almost one-tenth of the original vibration. Once the balance is complete, you can quickly generate a PDF test report. It will have the uh, report title, date and time for the test, uh, the staff name, machine and plant. It has the whole balancing parameters and vibration before and after balancing. You can add the company logo and add machine images uh, from camera or from photo library. You can add a note, add a signature, and include the map. Let me just uh, save the report. in the local database. The report can be viewed from uh, the local report manager. So we have balanced this rotor, it's running smoothly. For more information about uh, uh, the MotionX iPad vibration analysis and rotor balancing kit, you can visit our website at motionx.com and you can check our other videos. Thanks for watching.